Okay, so there's what I have. I have a new switch, a new timer that I'm trying to install. But I uninstalled the old one, which is here. Hang on. It's here. When I uninstalled that one, well, you can see why. is because these two things started to short out when it rained a while back. This is an old, old timer. It has one, two, three, and four. Um, I don't know if those are called poles or what, but one, two, three, four areas for wires to be uh, tightened into. Um, these two are toast, as you can see. Those two are okay. These two came from the pump. These two came from the electrical panel. So my confusion is the new switch, or the new timer, has five things on it. The wiring diagram is here. You can't read that, but I can't really make heads or tails of it. Um, so when I unwired it, I had marked these wires. Um, but you can see that this insulation has peeled off, so I lost my marks of what goes to where. Um, there is a small black mark on that piece of insulation right there and that went with this wire here I believe the problem is I don't know how to wire it back now <laughs> these two are red in color this one's kind of faded but that one's pretty bright red and these two are black they come from my electrical panel. There are two fuses that control this box. Um, so I'm assuming that's why I have two reds and two blacks because they're on two separate fuses over here, which I will show you. Walk with me. There. Uh, bad lighting. Those two. 20 amps both of those go to the pool okay now we go back this way those two white wires are to the clock motor so says this wiring diagram over there okay fine they show a third wire coming from the clock motor to what they call terminal one this terminal on the left they call A, this one they call 1, this one they call 2, 3, and 4. So the clock motor has a wire on A and a wire on 1. But there's this weird dotted line you can't see very well. That line is dotted and it goes to number 1 also. So I'm not sure what that means. First question. Fine, I guess it's already internally wired in there. Great. Okay. So these two wires here, they come from this way, and they go down there. That goes to the pump. Hello. Yeah, my nice shoes. Okay. Um, so these two on the old switch went there. Does it matter which order they're in, if this one's there, or if this one's like that? Does it, does it have to be one way or the other? I don't really know. They were marked left and right for the old switch, but that marking has worn off since I've been fooling around with it. Now, comes the tricky part. I swear to you that these were wired one black to one red and the other black to the other red, and that those were then put on a pole each. So you had one black and one red here, one black and one red here. On the old thing, that's how it was. Maybe that's not how it's supposed to be on the new thing, but that's how it was. So, should I put black to red again, and then black to this other red here again? It doesn't make any sense to me. I thought that reds should go to reds, black should go to blacks. A red would, the two reds would go here, the two blacks would go there, the end. But this guy that used to live here that I bought this house from was an electrician. He wired this all up himself, and he specifically had black going to red. I don't know why he had that. My question is, if I wire this black to this red, this black to this red, and I put them each on one pole, number one, and pole number two, can I then put these two guys that go to the pump here 
and here and be done with it? Or am I going to mess something up by doing that? These greens back there, those are the grounds. One of them comes from the pump, which is that way. The other two come from the bottom of the box down there, which goes out to the fuse panel over there. Anyway, uh, yeah, any help is greatly appreciated. Thanks.